You okay? Yeah. Previously, we began working on building our 13 by 28 block safe room. 640 12 inch blocks filled with both rebar and concrete topped with nine steel beams and a concrete ceiling will function as a safe room slash storm shelter for our family and tie directly into our A-frame addition. Look. Yeah, right? How tall it is. Almost there, girl. With no prior block laying experience and 640 some blocks to lay, this has easily been the most daunting task thus far. Today is day four of this build. Our goal has been to complete our block safe room in seven working days. So far we've had one really long 12 hour day of laying block and yesterday was our third partial day, meaning about four to six hours to lay block. We found that it's taking us roughly four hours to complete a course at this point after having spent 24 hours of laying course after course after course over the past couple of days. We are still very committed to building our own house and doing all of the work ourselves. Even all these years later, Josh and I are the only ones that have touched every inch of this build. Every nail, every screw, every board, every block, every concrete pour, every roof panel, the plumbing, the electrical, every little bit of it, we have done ourselves. And it's been an extremely rewarding experience. And it's also been a huge growth experience for both of us. And while we are very aware that we could just hire out Masons and have this entire block safe room built in no time, we would gain no experience, no knowledge. We really wouldn't gain anything from it other than just having the block room done for us. And there's just not much value, I guess, in that for us. We enjoy being able to spend the time together accomplishing this and we never wanna lose sight of why we moved out here and why we're doing these things. So as tough and strenuous and sometimes miserable as it may feel laying block after block, hour after hour, we are in fact living our dream when we're doing this. Cause you know, several years ago, we were like, imagine if we could come out to raw land and build our own house. And here we are doing it. Little by little, we are going to get this done. It just takes time. And it's okay to do hard things and do things that you're not good at and take a longer time to get them done. We'll be able to make it happen. You just we're, gotta stick in there. We're almost done. We have about, we have about 14 months left. Do you think it's 14 months? Right there, Here we go. For, that mean, what he means is you have 14 months left of him telling you that we're almost done. We're almost done. Right there. Once we get past this block safe room, we're gonna start sailing. <laughs> One, two, three, up. My arms are shaking on that one a little bit. <laughs> Good. Poofta. Day five, we gotta get this course done, we gotta get out of here. We're about ready to go. Josh is gonna mix up some mortar and we're gonna move some blocks in here. This is going to be the last row that we're able to <laughs> put the block up here this way. And then we're gonna have to adjust the way that we're doing this because we've finally gotten up way too high. It's actually a good thing. Good thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry you'd think I'd been laying block for days. We have been. Do you know how many we need for this course? Uh, to get 20, 30, 35. So we need to do a full piece to here and we'll put a small piece here. And once that's done, we're gonna move our line and work our way around and this course is gonna be done when we lay 30 more blocks roughly. Reach the woods and in front of me The wolf's still coming, we climb a broken tree The end is near And the words I hear That's it, we're done for the day. That means we're officially 
halfway there. I have to thank Ridge, the sponsor of today's video real quick, because a couple of years ago, I gifted Josh one of their Ridge wallets for Christmas. And ever since then, it has become my go-to gift for just about everybody in my life, from Josh to my father-in-law to my dad, my brother, my brother-in-laws. A Ridge wallet is literally a foolproof gift for the holidays. It's sleek and slim while holding up to 12 cards plus room for cash. It's durable enough to withstand the test of time in a construction worker's pocket, and it's designed with RFID blocking materials that protect you from digital pickpocketers. Ridge wallets are available in 30 plus colors and styles, including leather, and you can even make it personalized with a text or a design to add that special touch to your gift. AirTag attachments are available on every relevant product so you'll never lose your essentials again. The HyperLime wallet and key case are the newest additions to the line. So this year I decided that I'm actually going to upgrade Josh's Jingle Bell keychain to this nice sleek key case. And since you can get 30% off when buying the wallet and the key case together, you can have the perfect matching set for your loved one or you can treat yourself to a little something. This is what I got myself. It's a ceramic powder color. There's a 99 day risk-free trial for worry-free gifting and a lifetime warranty. Shop the holiday sale by going to ridge.com slash WWOG and get up to 30% off through December 20th. And if you use our link in the description box below, you can enter your email or your SMS for a free chance to win a Ridge bundle worth $4,000 with no purchase necessary. Now let's get back to the build. Good. Day six, the plan for us is to go two courses up on this section right here. And then once we get done with that, we go on the inside and use our walk boards. So if we work until about 10 o'clock tonight, I think we could probably get three courses done. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, up da! What? Yeah. Your turn. How many are we going for right now? 20. The pallet to block is dwindling. It's a good sign. Great sign. How about buy enough block? I think that this is actually the fastest that we have ever gone on yeah, yeah. that row that we just oh, did. We're smoking it. I'm gonna start timing it because now I'm just completely curious. When we started out, it had to have been taking us longer. It was probably taking us eight hours for one course and we cut it down to four hours yes. for one course. So where are we at now? I think two and a half to three. Where are we gonna be at the end? Two. Oof. I'm a professional by no means, but I'm trying, okay? We're, we're, we're doing it. <laughs> Alrighty, next course. One more row and we're gonna be on walk boards. Yeah, I'm throwing my head now, right here, girl. Crazy. You mix the mud, I'll refill the block. Right. Better to see how high it is we stand inside here, right? Yeah. Finally feels like we're getting somewhere. I know. Once we get concrete into all the cells of rebar, turning out into the ceiling, 
with the steel beams, the pan decking, rebar through the concrete up top, and everything poured. This thing's gonna withstand an F5 tornado, <laughs> F5 hurricane, there is one. Uh, that smells good, girl, let's do this. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Whoa. That thing's like a half mile long, man. All those deer run up there. That's crazy. You okay? I'm exhausted. <sighs> it's so much work. Oh, well, there it is. Oh. All right, how many did you want to bring? Ten. You okay? Yeah. You got this, Tim. Okay, thank you. It's just that we're so high up. 20, 40, 50, 60. 60? 60, so 50, 56 left. Okay. <laughs> I got that. This pallet's about to be gone. Four pallets left then. I thought Aaron was recording this. She wasn't. I'm a little appalled, so I'm going to record it. She is, uh, Give me so far, was that 42? 42 12 inch blocks over that wall. So the goal is to get 60 over here and get these things laid before the night's over. Right? That's right. So we'll see. Cool. 60. You know what? You're one tough, <laughs> you know? I love you for it. And you don't get the credit you deserve. Yes, I do. You give me all the credit. When we moved down here, I said I wanted to be an asset to you during the build. Not, not a ball and chain. Yeah. You're exhausted. You gonna feed me pizza tonight and call me beautiful? <laughs> of course. Or <laughs> well, you shove it down to the <laughs> ranch. We're gonna start the 16 minutes. 16 minutes? 16 minutes. I was supposed to start late tonight, like 10 30 or 11. 16 minutes. And it's gonna rain till uh, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Check your radar real quick. It actually says it's raining now. Does it's, it really? Yeah, but it's not. We're done. We can say that, girl. I know. We're not done now. I know. It's like a combination of feeling good and feeling disappointed. The thing that I feel good about is we have a system and we're smoking this thing. Okay, well, as soon as the rain stops, we're out here first thing in the morning. So today is day seven of building the block walls for the safe room. Whether or not we can finish this room today. I don't think so. The problem is, is that we're gonna be working at the cafe for the next couple of days. So we are just, we're not gonna be here and be able to touch any of the build. But for now, I'm gonna stay up all night long. I'm gonna get this block done. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna edit this video. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go to the cafe for the next couple of days and I'm gonna work there. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna keep building this house. Keep playing block. I don't think we're getting done today, girl. Oh, we're getting done. Okay, let's try. <laughs> <laughs> We have four courses left to lay. The walkboard's doing great. 
But the issue we have right now is uh, I have a four foot ladder and a six foot ladder. I need another six foot ladder so we can go up one more, I guess, rung on the ladder. But the four foot ladder is too narrow. So we're picking back up. We're getting on the top floor right here. It's a few feet higher. So our plan is to lay three courses here until it gets dark and we'll see where we end up. I think I better bring like three more. Was each course about 18? I think so. 